How's it going everybody? Welcome back today. Well, I had a slight mishap. I just built this uh, stainless steel top bench um, repurposed top. I can kind of give you a bird's eye here. There's a stainless top here and I have four by four legs. But I went ahead and put a uh, one by six shelf below it. Well, I was going to show you how I built this and attached everything together, but we had a little mishap. Unfortunately, I thought I was recording this, but I wasn't. So, long story short, measure twice, cut once. Well, I guess we'll just double check and make sure your camera's recording. At any rate, to finish this project off, I'm going to put some bench casters on this, some work bench casters, so I can step down on them, lift the thing up and move it around. Um, I was gonna just put it on caster underneath the wheels so I can just lock all four of them. But I decided against that and I'm gonna go with this uh, setup here. So fresh off the Amazon truck came this set, this kit. There are four of them. So four of the casters here, or the legs you'll call them. And then four of the uh, polyurethane casters, right? Get everything out here in order. Four and four. Um, this set's rated for 600 pounds, according to the uh, instructions. The set of four, I should say. Um, comes with a template where you can line up the center of your board. Um, and it says for anything that's, um, I guess let's see here. Use the center two holes if your workbench legs are less than two inches wide, or if you have, uh, for better stability, um, if your piece is wider than two and a half inches, use the outside four holes. Well, four by four should be no problem. So we'll use this. We'll mark the center of the four by fours. And then the uh, detailed instructions that are, uh, I guess we'll call this John Wayne paper. It's rough and tough. There's, uh, it's pretty uh, low quality stuff here. So. Um, the workbench caster instructions for the WC002 um, gives you an instruction figure on how to assemble them. Looks pretty straightforward as you would imagine. It says uh, workbench caster 4 pack is a perfect solution for easily positioning your heavy workbench to any desired area in your shop. Simply push down on the foot pedals to elevate your workbench off the floor and move to your preferred location then lift up the foot pedal to lower the table firmly back to the ground. It says this will uh, support um, as a set of four urethane casters, will support 600 pounds. You experience easy movement with the 360 degree pivoting action. All the, it says all the mounting hardware is included. So here's all those screws, some nice, uh, some nice Phillips screws. I like Torx better, but the Phillips will do. And then there's washers and nuts to attach the uh, urethane wheels to the brackets here. It looks pretty straightforward. It looks like you'll just, uh, them up in here with your washer and nut and tighten everything down in place. So you know, initial indications here are that uh, this is going to work out pretty well I'm hoping and it um, should be a pretty quick install. I'll show you guys how to do uh, one of them here or how I'm going to do the one and uh, then we'll go from there. Sorry if you hear in the background my uh, electric heater up here. It may cycle on and off so I apologize for the noise in advance um, but it's uh, it's getting chilly out and it's like 20 degrees outside now. And I'm not gonna freeze out in the shop. I got it set at like 55 or 60 degrees and it keeps it nice and warm. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and mount these. I'll do some pre-drilling for these screws and, uh, and marking of the four x four. So stick around. And while you're watching this, if you feel inclined, go ahead and uh, crack a cold one with me. Yeah, sorry. This can has a weird, makes a weird sound all the time. It's that those bush lattes, you know. That's how it goes. Also should mention, this is the Space Care Casters. It says on here, um, it's an Amazon, Amazon uh, purchase, made in China, of course. I got it on Black Friday sale for 20 bucks for a set of four. So we'll see how well they really last. The reviews are pretty good on them. Um, but you know, with anything else, there are, yeah, hopefully, you know, I don't have any problems, even though I have enough issues the way the stuff I do the way it is. So anyway, I'll put the uh, link to what I bought down here in the description below. Um, and we'll go from there. So we're going to go ahead. I've got, 
we'll get you down here nice and close so you can see what's happening. All right, don't mind my bag. We might go in this in a little. We might look at this stuff later, but this is some more Black Friday stuff. We just save big money, you know. I got a orbital sander and a half inch impact. We won't go on that today. Anyhow, so down here in the bottom is where we're gonna put this bracket. I'm gonna show you the first one and uh, we'll kind of go from there. So, so here is the little uh, template it gives you and shows an inch, 1.4 inches from the floor is where it needs to be. Um, and that's actually, I measured to double check, but it's actually from this dotted line. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this up quick just to make sure we're exactly on. And we will go ahead and get this on here. So it'll be 1.4 inches from the floor. So we'll set it there. I'm gonna go ahead and mark the four by four center. And then we will mark these holes. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I've got a uh, center punch. I'm just gonna punch these holes here. And then we'll just transfer it over there. I'll mark it up with some marker and go from there. I could also just drill these holes out and use a marker, um, but that center punch is gonna do a fine job. Uh, double, I'm just using scotch tape. I'm just gonna stick it on the back like this. Um, just to kind of give me an idea. Eyeball center. And then it's four, three and a half inches wide, inch and three quarter. To be right tail. Inch and three quarter. Should be right there. The center. Doesn't be perfect. Just want it kind of close. Just, you know, for sake, it's a workbench. So I'm going to get this close here. I have all our clothes, put it tight to the ground. A sticker on there. All right, good enough. So now I'm going to go ahead. By the way, if you don't like my dad, Crocs, you know what they say, you ain't crocking, you ain't rocking. So, we're rocking here at the K6 Outdoors Garage. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just take this little uh, transfer punch, just stick it there. It's not gonna be perfect, just get it close. What we're doing, this is a wood for the sake of what we're doing. I got four there, right? Good enough for what we're doing. Then, we'll line this up on there and you'll see that all of our stuff lines up just fine. These screws are garbage. I'll tell you that much already. Screws are garbage. Anyways, I will be getting a review on that. That's for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and fill all the holes since they've got enough screws. Um, for to put six in it, side. it's not gonna hurt. But my initial indications of using this kit, go ahead and get some different screws because these things are garbage. They made the cheapest metal possible and they strip like crazy, even using an impact like this little quarter inch thread impact. I mean, they're gonna work fine, but one little hiccup and that thing is not coming back off. Well, or for that matter, going on because. It is uh, gonna uh, be stripped out there. Phillips, honestly, aside from being, uh, you know, using a, a standard bit, you know, a flat, Phillips is worthless. Why anybody makes them anymore, I don't know, with a Torx, Torx tip, star bit, you know, a square bit, all those are better than that. Phillips is bad. 
I almost never buy um, Phillips anymore. So that's the only option because there's far superior things out there than using the Phillips technology has been around since back in 1990, million years ago. All right, so this one's on. Let's go ahead and get the first one to go here and see if it works. If it don't work, well. Hot dog. Friction even shows, make sure you get your foot all the way up on here because I've seen people complain about them breaking. Um, but as long as you get your foot, keep your feet clear though, because that thing just likes to slam down. As long as you get your foot all the way up on there, it should work fine. Sweet. One down, three more to go. Well, we got them all on there. Let's give them the first test drive here. Let's see how they work. So they chose you obviously in the picture get your foot all the way up on there because you want to bend this little bracket because that's just gonna be a not gonna be a good thing. Same thing over here. Once you got one started, this one just locks in place. And we'll go to the other end, to the other two, and do the same thing. Push down on it, and then push down on it, and she's up. And free moving. That slicker than dog crap. Yeah, and so you could do it without uh you know using regular casters. Like I said, this just lifts it up off the ground. Um, you know, that inch, a little bit over an inch, like it's showing on the photo. And then you can move it around, and when you're done, you just bring it back and you drop those legs and it drops the bench. You know, obviously you need to be careful when you're doing that, but you can go ahead and bring her back over here. And I mean this thing looks like it moves around pretty easy. I mean, it's really there's really not too much to it. I mean, this one, I'm not sure how much this weighs. I mean, it probably weighs, I don't know, 150 pounds, maybe. I don't know, 120 pounds. But it moves around pretty freely here. Um, I don't really see any issues with that. I mean, it's just nice to do it where you want. And either you can leave the feet up. All right, once you get it where you want it, you just take it and you lift up the leg. Obviously, you can bring one side down at a time. It's going to fall down there. And she's unlocked. Let's study on the floor. Go to the side, do the same thing. And she's down. So my initial impressions are these, they seem to be okay. Those screws may be something else. Like we said, I don't know, there's six of them in there. It says the total weight, this will support is 600 pounds when they're up. I mean, I don't know if I trust 600 pounds on those screws, but I guess we'll see how it works out. Uh, like I said, the, the comments on Amazon where I bought them from, they were really pretty, good, you know, overall, overwhelmingly positive. Obviously, you get your stragglers there that, you know, give the negative feedback because that's always the case, you know, even on YouTube. You know, I get I get thumbs down. I know I'm not perfect, but, you know, there's always somebody out there who doesn't like what you're doing. So, um, so yeah, that's the quick video I wanted to make of these today. I I think they're going to work well. I'm happy with them. said for 20 bucks, so that's what, that's five bucks a caster. Um you know, you could have done it a different route, just put them on the bottom. But I like, you know, having the sturdy, you know, there's no chance it's going to slide around type situation just because, you know, I'm going to be doing some work on top of here, whether it be finishing wood or whatever it's going to be. I just want to make sure stuff's not moving around on me. And, you know, you can lock the wheels, I get that, but you can still run the risk of sliding stuff around. So, as always, thanks for tuning in today. If you like what you saw today, give me that thumbs up. That's the best thing you can do to help the channel out. And over here on the right side of your screen, on my left side, your right side, you're going to see a picture of me. If you haven't already, you can click on that and it'll take you uh, and subscribe you to the channel so you can follow along here on K6 Outdoors. And if you feel so inclined and know someone else who might like this information, go ahead and share it with them. And by the way, don't forget to hit that little bell. That'll give you notifications when I post more videos and you can see them as soon as they pop up. Thanks again for stopping in. And until next time, this is Kyle signing out.